In this video, I'm going to be making sodium silicate, also known as water glass. Sodium silicate is fairly useful, although not widely used these days. I'm going to be using it as a high temperature adhesive. The difficulty in locating pure sodium silicate is the reason why I'm going to be making it today. To start out with, you need 100% sodium hydroxide. This can be found as this crystal drain opener, and this particular bottle was bought at Lowell's. This bottle was purchased at Big R, and it will also work as it is pure sodium hydroxide. This bottle was purchased at Ace Hardware. And again, you can see that it's 100% lye, or sodium hydroxide. This product was purchased at Walmart and was attractively priced, although examination of the label indicates it has sodium hydroxide as well as sodium nitrate. This cannot be used. I will also be using silica gel, and this can be found in these desiccant packs that absorb free moisture. I've got a bunch of these laying around. To start out with, weigh out 200 grams of sodium hydroxide. Then weigh out 300 grams of silica gel. And then measure out 500 milliliters of distilled water. I've chosen to use a stainless steel vessel to mix this in. Pyrex glass would have been ideal, but I don't have any. A regular glass jar will not work because it can't take the heat. Begin slowly adding the sodium hydroxide to the water. Go slowly as this will generate considerable heat. Once all of the sodium hydroxide has been added to the water, begin adding the silica gel. The addition of the silica gel will also generate heat, so go slowly. To help the reaction along, I'm going to get it started by adding some heat with that burner. The increased heat will help the silica gel dissolve in the now extremely alkaline water, although once it starts dissolving it will begin generating even more heat. You can see here it's boiling on its own just sitting on the bench. After this self-heating is done with, it can be placed back on the heat and boiled to dissolve all of the silica gel. Boil and stir until no more silica gel is stuck to the bottom. It'll feel like gravel at the bottom. I continued boiling until the bubbles resembled kind of a syrupy sugar water look. And as you can see here, drops suddenly seize on the end of my stirring knife here. That's when I know I'm done. I remove it from the burner, which is now extinguished, and get it out of the way. A 
Upon examining the surface, you can see a light skin that forms. This indicates that this sodium silicate is highly concentrated, which is what I want. Here is another example of a droplet of sodium silicate seizing on the end of the stirring knife. I will be using sodium silicate as a high temperature binder in a future project, so stay tuned for that.